Turn somebody on, right? James, yeah. can we uh, just, you know, what went on just then and who did it? Well, uh, uh, this was our thing, song that we do every night on the bandstand. Uh, everybody had a solo in it, the bass player, the guitar, the drums, and the piano. And I would like to introduce the fellas, you know, playing the guitar. His name is Luther Chuck and he played and sang. You know, let's give him a nice round of applause, huh? Playing the piano, you can't get nothing right tonight. The organ won't break away, and I don't think the piano's loud enough for him. Uh, but he plays the piano all night and all day. He just play all the time. His name is Albert. Let's give him a nice round. Uh, <laughs> playing on the drums is the man that I don't know. He keeps up a whole lot of commotion all the time. He's jumping up, spinning them sticks and breaking them. You know, kicking a hole in the drum head, but. 
He's playing the drum. His name is Francis Clay. Huh? Yeah. Let's give him that. And my main man is playing the bass. Everybody's got a man, but this is my man. My main man is playing the bass. The young man don't never get loose till on a Saturday night. Uh, every Saturday night he sings and dances and play that bass. I'm telling you. But uh, we go. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get into singing here a little bit tonight. His name is Bobby Anderson. Let's get into it. Uh, excuse me, James, for a moment. We have to get a few credentials in here. Come here, Peter. Yeah. It's, uh, Peter Wolf of the Hallucinations. And um, he has a lot more info in the group than I do. What does he do? Or what right. has he done? Luther? Yeah, Luther. Well, Luther, right before... Cotton picked him up, was working with Otis Rush, right? And you were working for him for how long? Uh, off and on, around about 14 years. 14 years. And so pushing it rush. back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were right. pushing it back, and then you uh, you started working off with Walter, didn't you? Bill Walter. Yeah. And you did a lot of recording with him. Yeah. yeah. Best little Walter, you had a guitarist on that. Well, I was with uh, Yeah, you and Robert Lockwood Jr., right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, like, <laughs> we, we got you. <laughs> <laughs> Who's no, but, next? No, but he's, he's also on uh, Hate to See You Go, uh, Everything Gonna Be All Right, uh, The Mellow Down Easy Cut, uh, some of Walter's best things. Uh, Luther. Luther Tucker. Luther Tucker. Yeah, Otis how, Rush. How long, is, how long have you been together, this group, as? Almost two years. Two years? Yeah. Uh, yeah, the well, we're not finished. He, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Luther can be heard <laughs> on the uh, Vanguard thing. Uh, with Otis Rush, and that's uh, Blues Volume, I think it's two. Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, Cotton could be heard on the Vanguard in Blues Volume Two. Right. And he has uh, the old Money Band behind him on that. And going behind is uh, Bobby Anderson, who started out with Junior Wells. And he's on a lot of Junior's early stuff, 45s that were, uh, I forget the profile. 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 Right. Profile. Right. And uh, then he, his latest thing before Cotton was with uh, Muscle White on Vanguard. Played bass on that. And on the Here Comes Charlie, Charlie yeah. Muscle White album? Yeah, he's bass on that. Stand back. <laughs> and on drums. <laughs> funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is, here, com here comes the story and the, well, and the lies. And the <laughs> I, I stopped at about 1940. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were rapping. Was that, that was Jay McShane. <laughs> no, that's where I stopped. Uh, where he gets out of my collection. Were you, uh, were you, with, you with the Jay McShann band? I was in my first big band. Yeah. Who was with him? I was 16 years old, yeah. Who was with Charlie him? Charlie Shavers. Charlie Shavers, right. Charlie on those Stegman Ballard. Al Hibbert Ballard. Ballard. Roy Brown. Dizzy Gillespie's in the band. Dizzy Gillespie <laughs> in the band, right? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Enough dudes. <laughs> Albert on piano. Uh, now, Albert, it's very hard to get anything out of. I know he's did some things recording for B.B. King. No, I don't know too much about that. But what tune was that? Flint Robinson was his name, right? Well, the band. But it was, King was playing on that, though, wasn't he? No, B.B. wasn't playing. His band was. But you wrote the song, didn't you? I wrote the music. The music. What was, what was that? Loan Me a Dime. Somebody loaned Me a Dime. What label was that? Um, I don't know where it went. <laughs> uh, I don't know too much about Albert. Uh, he keeps going. Uh, Never too late. Like <laughs> first. This is the yeah. first band. Finally, get you back. <laughs> 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 Here it comes. Uh, I was out in Frisco, you know, and touring the country with Muddy Waters, and I was playing at the uh, jazz workshop in Frisco. And Albert Hamlin came in one night. He's talking, said, "Well." Uh, I can play piano, you know. And I said, now this guy can't play no piano. This is what I said, you know, to myself. <laughs> so the uh, next day I would come up to my room, you know, and so we kind of run around all all day that day. And that night we went over to the coffee gallery, I believe it was. And he said, I decided to play, you know. I had to show you. I all said, right. well, I'll take that back. You can play piano. <laughs> so <laughs> then we got to talk about uh, get in the band. He said, yeah, I'll come right on up to Chicago, you know. We'll do it. So five days after I, I left Frisco, Abbott was in Chicago, 
And then we, uh, well, we planned the band out there. Everybody that we got in the band, except one member of the band, and I don't know what happened to him, but. I was there when you planned. Oh, yeah, Clay was there, but he, but but he didn't come with the band, and so we had Sam Lay with the band, you know. And everybody that me and Abbott planned to get for the band, what we have is yes, all is, you know. That's all I can say about that. And Abbott is playing on the last album. And he's really playing the piano. This is all I can say about him, you know. What's uh, what's with the new album that's coming out? Uh, is it when it'll be out in March? Yeah, it should be out sometime in March. <coughs> mostly, mostly new material. Mostly new material. Aren't you doing something with uh, what's her name? Odetta. Odetta. Right. Yeah. Well, we we was trying to get something together with yeah. her. We don't know when we're gonna get into the studio for to do it. Yet. It's not done yet. No. Uh, okay. The thing, the thing I like to say about uh, Cotton is the other day he was seeing house somebody knocks on the door with this record a sun label yeah <laughs> 78 oh, cotton crop blues which was recorded when he was 15 15, 15 years old and on guitar pat was on guitar pat hair yeah who played with uh on all the early bland cuts and uh junior parker yeah who's right. now uh <laughs> having a vacation <laughs> <laughs> Okay. WBUR in Boston. <laughs> hey, uh, we've heard uh, <laughs> we've heard from everybody else in the band. <laughs> James, would you come in? <laughs> that takes care of all the rules that you yeah. have to play by. You know, we've heard from everybody else in the band, except for doesn't he sing? No, he just no, played a drum. No. Mumble. <laughs> <laughs> Now he he just he just played a drum and mama to me, you know. Mama. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have we have to get a couple from you at least. Uh, All right, we'll try. It. Okay. We're gonna do one called Blues and My Sleep. Oh. <laughs>
Thank you. That's, uh, that's on your... That's on your first album, right? Yeah, Blues and Mustard. Does this remind you of another radio show that... Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that, man. Yeah. I remember that. That's a long time ago. Oh, we were yeah. just talking about that when we did the when Jay Giles was playing in the blues band. Yeah. So, doesn't this remind you of your King Biscuits? Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Good old days, man. Yeah, the old days. Huh? Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it remind me of. I remember I had to be down the station every day at twelve fifteen with Sonny Boy. You know. Yeah. We go through this type of thing all the time. He used to do a thing, sound something like this in the key of A, fellas. Don't start me to talking, huh? <laughs> well, going down the roses, stop at Fannie Mae's, tell Fannie what a hood. Boyfriend said, no, don't start me to talking. I'll tell everything I know. Get his wife two dollars an hour job to get some market. Got out on the street. Old George stopped her. He knocked her down and blacked her eyes. She get back home. Tell her husband a lie. No, don't stop me to talk. I'll tell everything I know. Some money. Go to beauty shop. He humped his home. And she began to stop. So take me, baby, around the block. Going to the beauty shop. Get my house out. No, don't stop me to talking. I'll tell everything I know. Back in the good old days, you know, Sonny Boy used to tell me so well. <laughs> Sonny Boy used to tell me so well. Uh, whenever you go down the roses, stop at Fanny May. You say you got to come back and tell about what she did to you. I said, what? I said, what she do to you, Sonny? He said, you know what happened to me, man? I said, what? He says, nine below zero. And that woman done put me down. So he did it like this, huh? Hey! I'm 
He did a thing and tell her, baby, you know it ain't right to treat me this way.
bet there ain't not been this much sun rays in Boston before. I'm with it this morning. Uh, it's like it's, it's an anti-climax if I come on and do something, man. Here. Can we get can we get one more thing on it, man? Until three, right up until three. Or you can go as long, all night if you want to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no good. Could you do Black Knight? Uh, yeah, we, we, I don't know. We just do anything. anything. Okay. We don't make a difference. Yeah. We're going to get out now, Lee? Yes. Okay. We go out there, huh?
Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to kind of change it around a little bit and do a little thing called Midnight Hour. Huh? We're going to try that. Huh? How's that? Right. We'll try it, huh? Step to the FCC. Can you get over here, Bob? Watch it. We'll just turn this around. Turn around and we'll. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Can we get here now? Yeah. Now, how is it, huh? Let's do it, huh? Yeah. 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 do a little thing called Pop Midnight. No, we can't do that. Can't do that no more, can we? Oh, you want me to knock on your guitar? Oh, well, we do a thing called... Oh, no, not in here, man. You know better. We do a thing called Knock on Wood. Huh?
do it. Right. Okay. And then uh, I'm ready to call it a night. <laughs> All right. I'm ready to call it a night. Yeah, I will. Mighty close to it. <laughs> this is a little thing here. What the hell might happen is about sometime in March. One and title of the Creeper, huh? <laughs> Thank you. 
someone you love don't love you. <laughs> I take care of everybody knowing your heart to know that somebody's rocking your cradle better than you can rock your cradle yourself. It ain't but one thing left for you to do. Pack your clothes. Turn around. Walk slowly out the door. Look back over your left shoulder, hang your head and think, if you ever think about me. your best friend and mouth together. You walk right in, you kick down the door. Shoot him. Can't shoot her, no, if you shoot her all your long time, life, love is gone forever. By the time you make it up in your mind for to forgive her, and walks another one of your friends through the door. No one is gonna let you to your heart, you go right ahead and shoot her. Shoot her again, please, shoot her. Yeah. Realizing what you have done, you say, baby, baby, oh baby, I'm sorry. But if she don't love you, you know what you say? <laughs> but if she loves you, she'll look up at you with a last dying breath and say, do 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 Lightest, heaviest music I've ever heard. It's something like that, man. I can't really figure it out. Uh, you're going to be at the Club 47. Have to get people down there, man, to see you. Whoa, after this. Uh, they'll be at the Club 47 Sunday through uh, Saturday night. Through Saturday. Yeah, uh, Friday. Tomorrow night and Saturday, you do two. You're going to do three sets on the weekend? Three sets. Three sets on the weekend, which means they go to 12.30, something like that, a little after, right? Uh, so for the price of, like, really, you know, two bucks, man, it's amazing, man. Right? little it costs. Just go in and really get yourself into a nice night. I want to thank, how can I thank you, man? Tomorrow night, when uh, when I come back from the Club 47 <laughs> to do my show, uh, from uh, everyone who's here, great studio audience too, man. Like you know, right? Uh, thanks to the background music, <laughs> that's beautiful, right? <laughs> my own little gig. Until tomorrow night, when this, this show is made possible through contributions received from you. Yeah, right. Um, Ed, do you know something? I have to congratulate everyone. For as long as I've been working with Ed, you guys are the first ones to make him move his foot. Right? No rhythm. The most, you know, 
biggest, straightest stick I've ever seen, man. He's, he's in there bouncing around, groovy. <laughs> so from Ed and myself to everyone who hung around and listened until tomorrow night, thanks, and I'll see you. Yeah.